Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids, and in this video, I'm going to show you my Panasonic GH4 that I've got lots of different things attached to in what I think is a very, very good camera rig. Not only will it help you improve the video performance and the handling of your camera, but also deliver better audio as well. Let's take a closer look. So here is my GH4 camera rig, all pimped out, looking really sweet. It's actually inside a Honu or Hono cage kit, and that's available from photographyandcinema.com. I'll show you that a little bit closer in a short while. And all of these products, I will leave a link to them in the video description. Now the first piece of equipment I'm gonna show you is the Aperture V-Screen VS2 kit. And the reason I'm showing you this first is because as you can see, we've got a battery warning light on the front. It does eat through batteries. So I'm gonna show you the menu system first of all, and it gives a really clear picture, lovely screen. So let's go into the menu, and you can see here we can actually go across to monochrome. We can change it to grayscale, red, green, blue, or off. We've also got zebra markings as well, peaking, peak color, color bar, camera mode, and return. We can go across to assistant functions, mark, image, color setting, shortcut, other settings, and of course, exit the menu. And it just gives a really nice clear picture. Now, also inside the kit, we get this articulating arm. This is very, very useful. It comes with another bit that I didn't need to use for this particular setup, but you can make it higher as well and it allows you to position the screen either sort of rear facing if you've got a camera operator or if you're presenting the videos yourself you can flick it round to actually face the presenter. Now as I mentioned it's got that battery warning on it, it does use a lot of battery and we've got the rechargeable battery pack on the back there. You do get a recharger inside the kit as well. You can get an optional power supply and it also accepts component and composite video inputs as well as the HDMI input that we're using at the moment. It's a really good screen, very, very good screen indeed. Really pleased with that. Now let's move on to have a closer look at the Honu cage kit. It comes as either just a cage by itself or you can get it with this handle. Now I only put the handle on here just so you could see what it looked like. And the handle's really useful because not only does it have some more threaded mounts on the handle, but it also allows you to pick up the camera and carry it around in quite a stabilized manner for sort of run and gun sort of video shooting. So if you're out and about and you're reporting maybe at an event or on the street or just recording some sort of action, this handle is very, very solid, really good addition to the cage. And the cage has got lots of threaded mounts all over it. And the benefit of this is that then you can, of course, attach accessories like the screen, like the Rode video, Stereo Video Mic Pro I've got attached here, video lights, etc. We've also got these slots on the side, which takes a standard sort of hot shoe or cold shoe size mount. That's what I'm using for the Rode Stereo Video Mic Pro. And then on the side, you can see we've got lots of mounts here as well, lots of threaded mounts, so we can attach more accessories to the side. What I really like is that you have got access underneath to the battery compartment and you've also got access, if I just turn this this way, we've got access to the uh, microphone input and also the HDMI output as well. So we've got plenty of access as well, even with the camera inside the cage. We've also got this sort of stabilizing mount as well. So instead of you just having the camera in here and it being able to swivel around, you attach it up the top here, and this means it's gonna stay put, so it stops it from rotating. Very, very good indeed. So, moving on, what else have we got on this particular rig? Well, we've got the Rode Stereo Video Mic Pro. I really do like this microphone, and this goes directly into the GH4. So we've got better audio being captured on the Rode Stereo Video Mic Pro reason I like using this is we put it up to the plus 20 dB setting on the back of the microphone and then when it's actually on that setting we can reduce the levels inside the camera so we've got a really good clean audio coming into the camera and then to improve the audio even further we have got this this is a Tascam unit you can see the box over there on my desk. It's the Tascam DR70D. 
And what this allows you to do is actually improve your audio. This is an awesome piece of kit. We've got a display screen on the back. We've got some controls here for going through the menus. We've got level controls for all of our inputs. We have got plenty of inputs on this. And then we've also got extra controls here. We've also got a slate button and a record button. Now this can be connected with a cable into the camera audio, but I'm already using the Rode Stereo Video Mic Pro for the camera audio, so this is gonna be my second audio. And then I can sync this up during the edit and use the better audio, or I can use a mix, of course, of this and whatever's connected to this. But if you're using this Tascam unit, you're probably gonna to wanna to use the audio from here. It records to an SD card. The slot, I can't really show you the slot easily, but there's a slot underneath here. And then if we look on the side, we've got the power control. We've also got some XLR inputs. And then if I go all the way around this side, we've got a headphone monitoring output. We've also got some sort of volume control for the headphones, remote, external in. We've also got a line in and out here as well. We've got a micro USB connector and another XLR connector here as well. And then when I showed you round on the front, so if I show you this front again, you will see that not only have we got a cover where the SD card slot is, we've also got two built-in microphones. So it will actually capture audio without any additional microphones connected. It is an awesome piece of kit and comes highly recommended. So this is what the rig looks like, and I think it looks absolutely superb. I really do like it. In fact, if I just give you a quick 360 of this, you can see it from the side view. Very, very cool. You can also see it front on, give you a little bit better view of what it looks like here with those front-facing microphones. And these actually capture pretty good audio. Very, very impressive audio from the built-in microphones, and something you don't often get on a recorder like this. If you've got a handheld recorder, then you do get obviously built-in microphone capsules, but for something like this, you don't normally get those. So a really nice feature. And then we'll give you a look around on this side again. And then you can also see, if we just move up to looking at the uh, cage again from Honu, you can see the easy access to the ports on the side. And it all works extremely well. If you're looking to certainly improve your camera setup, then this should be up for consideration. All of the products, as I say, are gonna be linked to in the video description. And just to recap, we've got the Honu Cage Kit from Photography and Cinema. We have got the Aperture V-Screen VS2 Kit. We have got the Tascam DR70D audio recorder. We have also got the Rode Stereo Video Mic Pro. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please do hit that like button. Please do leave me some comments, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video.